Hello everyone. This is just a quick little snippet that I have decided to record. Um, I just got done doing a pretty much a full electronic repair restoration of a Star Wars. As you can see, Star Wars. <clears throat> and I got the board set which I had repaired. I didn't do a full length recording of this because I have Star Wars repairs on my channel. So this is one I just kind of wanted to blitz through and get done. But um, yeah, so, but this was kind of cool. So I did want to just pop in and film something real quick. I was going to do a short video, but I didn't think I could squeeze it all in in a minute. So this is going to be a very short, short, regular video. Maybe a five-minute video or something like that. I don't know. Anyway, I wanted to go through what, we, what we've got done here. Here's the board set, which the AVG board needed an analog section rebuild. And I, the, uh, the interface board up there was shot needed to have fingers on the edge repaired and needed to be thoroughly cleaned and the, all the solder redone and all of that. So it, it was a mess. I actually had to refinish the edges. I had to take and sand off because they were completely corroded and oxidized. So I had to sand them all off and refinish them, repair some of the fingers and all of that. It was a mess. Uh, this was fine. It, the AVG board was the only board that had an issue. And then I reflowed solder wherever it needed that. All that kind of maintenance stuff. The monitor was a disaster. And you can see this is not the greatest tube. It's got a big old burn mark right here. And it's a little worn out the tube is. The focus isn't great. I've got it focused in about as good as I can get it right now. It's not bad. It's definitely it works. So, But yeah, this monitor was a mess. I cleaned it up. Let's turn the light on. Clean it up really good. Um, all the caps. I actually had to remove the flyback completely and then wash the board and cage because it was a total mess. This board was kind of destroyed. I rebuilt the low voltage section. I don't buy the LV kits. I just build it I have all of the parts, all of the upgraded parts that I need to build that up without buying an LV kit. It's just parts that I stock. So you don't need a low voltage kit. You just need good updated, upgraded parts. That's it. Um, I replaced a couple of the headers. Reflowed solder everywhere, of course. I replaced all the little preamp driver transistors back there. Um, all the caps, of course. And... Really had to go through and re-solder a lot of stuff and really clean this board up. It was a mess. But that's that. Case transistors, I had to replace two of the TO3 sockets on the bottom. And I ran out of TO3 sockets. So what I ended up doing, because I had bad sockets on the Y amplifier out here as well. Uh, this thing, no matter, it didn't matter the transistors whatever transistors I put into this, it would blow the fuse. So I knew there was something up with the sockets. So I just eliminated it completely. And what I did was I made my own harness to use TIP 35C and TIP 36C. This is the NPN 35, that's the PNP 36. And you have to basically cut the leads off of the transistor and solder on three position um, headers and then put a connector on and just slides on you know so that's that this is the y amp i would not do this with the x amp not with these transistors there are transistors in this package and i don't know the number off hand that you could use on the x amp um they're like a they're just a beefed up version of the tip 35 they actually dissipate like 200 watts of power these only dissipate 125 watts of power, these TIP-35s. So they're, they're kind of a low 
they're they're kind of a low graded transistor. They're about the same as the 3716 16s and those aren't great to begin with. You know, the the stock 3716 and 3792 that are used on these, these are pretty much equivalent to those. Now on the X amp, I would definitely use the more beefed up transistor. You could use these transistors on the low voltage section because the low voltage section also has these transistors on the case. You know, the, the 3716 and 3792. You could use those in the low voltage section, but for the X amplifier, I would use the more beefed up transistor. And the reason being is this is the Y, and the Y doesn't work as hard as the X. So there's more current going through those X transistors than there is the Y. So you want um, transistors that can handle more current and dissipate more heat on that X axis. So it's fine for Y, but I would not use these for X. I'd, I'd use an upgraded, better transistor. So that's how I would do that. But yeah, this monitor looks great. It works great. It's already run for about four hours today. So it's A-OK. -okay. And I also rebuilt his, this uh, block assembly with a new big blue and a new fuse block. And this has been tested. And I rebuilt his AR2. It had some burnt parts, new caps. I've removed these. I actually removed all these connectors cleaned them all, cleaned them up really good, and then I resoldered them back in. Um, this is an original Motorola 2N3055. I just removed it, put a new insulator, new heat sink paste, and then reinstalled it. And the reason I didn't replace that is because I believe that these original parts, more times than not, are better than the new stuff that you can get. So until that actually fails, I wouldn't replace it. Caps, of course. Um, yeah, so that's that. That's all of this. The, the power supply here, and this one's been tested. I ran this for over three hours today. All the, the amps work. It works great. Sounds great. So, yeah. Star Wars. Monitor is completely done. This thing was a mess when I took it on. I had to replace a bunch of the the header pins. You can see they're not those red, you know, press in type where the wires press in on a, a metal V to make a contact or whatever. I replaced all of those. And I replaced the one that plugs into the high voltage right there. The only one that I did not replace is this one right here that plugs into the neck board. You can see it right there. Did not replace that one. All of the other ones, I had to actually build this harness for the Y amp. So there you go. We'll go ahead and end this little short video. I just wanted to do that. And I had to, uh, one more thing that I had to do is I went to the uh, hardware store. You know the little screws that screw into this thing? To screw this to those, that little block? In case you don't know, those are 2.5 millimeter screws. They are metric. It's 2.5 millimeter. You know, these are actually 632 thread. But the one that screws in from up here is a 2.5 millimeter metric. At least on this one it is. I'm sure they're all the same. That's it. A little post-mortem repair, if you will. This one's done. It's already run over four hours today. So it's ready to be invoiced and sent back to a happy customer. All right, guys. We'll see you on the next one. I am actually going to be releasing a full documented repair soon on a three stack space invaders board set Taito space invaders so look out for that i'm actually waiting for i'm waiting for this i had to buy a new element for my desoldering gun but once that gets in i'll put it put it in here and this thing will be rebuilt basically brand new now so yeah all right we'll see us